my joy is one life at a time trying to change 5,000 people at once is going to waste your time converge your energy and change one person and you have affected 5,000 people in one person there are many people who want to change the world and they've not changed their own families there are have you seen that historically there are people like that preachers their own families can be dying dying of hunger dying of whatever it is and they are changing the whole world you change the world by changing a life and let me tell you this especially for our generation that is obsessed with increase we want to show that many many people have been impacted I submit to you as one who has been privileged to experience different levels of increase and honor I can tell you with every sense of humility at the end of your life it's not a crowd that will clap for you it's the life that has been changed that will remember you a crowd is a big risk they will clap for you and say crucify him the next moment but one life you focus on maybe God is speaking to someone right now you are trying to change the world change the world by changing that little girl in your environment start paying her school fees pray in tongues with her while you are praying raise that girl and let her go to school and graduate in the university turn her into a weapon in the hand of God and release her towards a great destiny you change the world when you stand before Jesus the same way the man who preached in a crusade with thousands of people you will also stand with them with that one life Jesus was dying let me listen listen before you clap Jesus was dying for the whole world but he turned to one man by his side and it was as though he forgot that we were all there too would you be distracted by one man when you are focused on the impact of the whole world but he still turned to that one man and he said this day you will be in me with me in paradise look at the nature of Jesus's impact he will preach in a crusade of 5,000 people and then go to a woman by the well he will preach he was on his way to make an impact at a crusade and then he saw a tax collector who because of his height and size climbed a tree and said no i honor you come down i've changed i'm going to your house and in his mind the crusade and the meeting of the tax collector carried equal value we must redefine our idea of impact i'm saying this finally so that we will manage our concept of impact because if they tell you who are the men of God or who are the businessmen that are making impact and changing the world chances are you say they are the Joshua Selmans they are traveling from nation to nation I'm giving you a new orientation dear generation no impact is one life at a time the person who was changing Reinhard Bonke did not know he was influencing Africa the person who was changing Billy Graham did not know he was rewriting history listen to me history has been written and is being read but history is still being made the same energy I would give a stadium of people preaching is the same energy I would give a young lady, a young gentleman, if I have the opportunity to talk. I will not say the spotlights are not there, the ushers are not there, there is no honorarium. Mm -mm. Jesus communicated the same passion with the woman at the well when Nicodemus came to him by night. Do you know the entire John 3:16 that is about the greatest verse for the salvation of the believer it did not come on a crusade ground it came from a discussion in the night with one person the understanding of worship in spirit and truth did not come as the sermon on a crusade ground it came as a discussion between Jesus and an outcast a prostitute supposedly what will holy Jesus be doing with an outcast forgotten by society There are some of you you may never have the opportunity to stand on the crusade grounds there are some of you you may never have koinonia with thousands of people like this for you god will give you one life and say this is your project make sure this child does not fail he may be an orphan but you have a responsibility to train him because this is the gentleman who is going to change utopia this is the gentleman who is going to bring revival across europe and while Mama, while you are cooking for that gentleman, young lady, while you are helping him do his assignment, you think you are just helping one person. While you are watching the Joshua Selmans in, with a crowd of people, you are feeling bad that you are not doing ministry. You do not know you are changing a whole nation in one man. Before the word is lightened upon Israel, he sends the word to Jacob. Rebecca, you are not carrying twins. You are carrying two nations. Mama, God gave you three children no God gave you the secret the keys to the revival of three continents in three people can I tell you this 
whether you have the privilege to talk to 10,000 people, 1 million people, whether you have the privilege of having thousands of people follow you online, millions of people, whether you have the privilege to have access to deep dimensions of revelation and illumination, whether you are known and called and celebrated or not, the most important thing is to be motivated by these tripartite motivations. I repeat one last time, your love for Jesus. Number two, your desire to see him glorified. Number three, your sincere love for men. Don't use men, love men. Pastors, don't use members, love members. Don't manipulate people to build an empire for yourself. Love people sincerely. Love is painful, love is costly, but love is powerful.